Hi guys, today I want to do a review of a uh, line of clothing that I really endorse. Uh, before I get started, I want to say uh, this isn't a paid endorsement. I don't get any money from this company. This is just something I wanted to do because I've had this, these two items uh, for six years now. And I have to say they're like bulletproof. They've done everything I've needed them to. They've taken no damage and I'm just absolutely pleased with these items. And it's hard for me to find something I really enjoy that has... Uh, high quality that I really feel like I got my money's worth. So without further ado, let me introduce you to a company called TAD Gear or Triple Odd Design. This is their little uh, symbol right here. Uh, what these two products are is this is the Ranger jacket and this is the Stealth hoodie. Now what I use these two for, I combine them. This is my uh, Second layer, I'll have like a t-shirt, and then I wear this, and then my outer layer, which is the stealth hoodie. This is going to keep all your wind, and uh, it's very water resistant. It's going to keep all the elements off of you, and then this is going to keep you warm. And when I combine these two, uh, they're amazing. I've used them on the East Coast in the wintertime, uh, up in Chicago around New Year's, um, hiking around in the wintertime in uh, the Midwest. I've taken... This stuff snowboarding, it's taken a lot of rash from the ice when I fall on the mountain. Uh, I've taken it hiking in, in South Texas where I live, where basically every plant is designed to snag you and kill you and cut you up. And it's taken no damage, no battle damage. I've taken it to New Mexico when I was on detachment there. And we do a lot of shooting and hiking. And then I was working on the aircraft that we were uh, detached with. So uh, with all that said, this stuff's not cheap. This outfit combined is, uh, when I bought it at the time, cost me over $500. Now, uh, one of the reasons why it was a little bit cheaper, uh, this, when I bought it, was made in China. Now they're made in the US. So uh, this jacket now is like $500. That's expensive for a jacket, yes, but it could be way more, but I'm telling you it is worth it. And then this one uh, cost me about 200. And actually, if I look on eBay, the great thing about TAD gear, it's produced in limited quantities and it's such a good quality and has such a fan base that I can almost sell this for what I paid for it and get all my money back. Um, I mentioned, uh, I do a lot of obviously if you're following my channel or you've check, taken it out, uh, taking a look at it, I build custom cars. So I've done a lot of car maintenance on this and just like a month ago, I was underneath uh, my 55 T-Bird. I got a lot of black sooty, uh, like a greasy stain here. I didn't think it was gonna come out and the wife got it out. It sat for about a day. And it came out. It has a little bit of staining on the the sleeves. Uh, can you really notice it? I don't know if you can see that. Just a couple little spots. So for six years of me owning it and the way I treat my stuff, uh, yeah, I'm very impressed. Now on this uh, Ranger jacket, you know you're gonna get your two jack or your two pockets here, and then you've got a little pocket here where I'll keep like my fob. It does have a hooded zipper. You see right here. I've had no issues with the zippers on this product, on the uh, Ranger jacket or the uh, Stealth hoodie. I have had a little bit of issues. It's very soft in here. Like I said, it's just a high quality. Um, I wash it normal, and then I dry it on cool, or I'll let it hang dry. It does have. Uh, these thumb inserts here. Now, I wish I had ordered this in large. I'm 6'5", so uh, and this company doesn't make their clothing in long. I wish they did, like Banana Republic or Cry Precision. Uh, they make long versions. It's just, it's got a good weight to it. It's not heavy, uh, but it's just constructed very well. Like I said, uh, the stitching is all looks practically brand new. Uh, I wouldn't believe if I knew what this thing had been gone through and all the camping and things, um, I'd expect it to look a little rougher, but it looks in really good shape. So now on to the jacket. Like I said, this is a Chinese model they make in the U.S. now, and I think they obviously the jacket evolves, and I think that they probably have a couple more features, a little bit different now. Uh, water resistant, very good. It'll bead on you, but again, it's not waterproof. If you sat out here in a torrential downpour, yeah, it's going to start to get really dark, like it's really absorbing some of the water. Uh, it has some cool features, like uh, you got hooded zippers. 
This really helps keep uh, water out of your pockets. And all the zippers have it. And where all the zippers are, you're going to get uh, these welded seams. So they've welded on additional material. It's like it's glued on around here. And that's going to help keep uh, protect the stitching as well as keep water out of that area. Now, with that said, after six years of use, uh, these TAE does have repair service. I need to talk to them because I just noticed while I was setting up for this video that this weld is kind of starting to peel apart here. It's kind of coming off. So I need to talk to them to see if that's something I can glue myself or if I should send it in to them. For pockets on here, you're going to have your two chest pockets. They've got a good amount of size to them and there are lanyards in here. You know, if you need to attach stuff, like your keys. It's got a vented zipper here for the armpits. So if it's summertime, you might need that breathability. It's starting to get hot, you got all your gear on. You got compartments up here in the bicep. Again, you've got more lanyards in here as well. A little D-ring. You got patches on both. Uh, on the new models, they, they option that now, so you can buy it with or without the patches. Uh, I wish I had it at times. I really don't need this. And sometimes you don't want to be that, like, ooh, tactical guy when you're out in town and you're just trying to wear this because it works great. You're not trying to look all, you know, Mr. Combat. <clears throat> the forearms are reinforced. I don't know if you can see this patch that they welded on. It goes up past your elbow. And like I said, being in Texas with all that brush, uh, you know, and you push, you know, you use your forearm to push aside all, you know, branches or whatever. It's really not taking any abuse. And like I said, when I fell in the mountain, you know, you put your elbows down to brace uh, on that hard, uh, icy snow. No damage. It still looks really good. And it's a great feature, especially in Texas with all those uh, sticky plants. Same thing on this side. Uh, it's looking good. Uh, there's no real stains on this. I even had a cat pee on it. And I don't know if you had a cat or know anything about cat pee, but it's like impossible to get out and it didn't stay on this jacket. There's no smell or anything. Uh, weak points to this clothing, like I said, just right here, the seams kind of starting to come apart. It's not affecting the functionality of the zipper. Uh, it's actually, it's just protecting this uh, stitch, but uh, I'll have to dress that. <clears throat> And like I said, uh, when I was talking about the Ranger jacket, this zipper is a little gummy feeling when you first get it started. I can feel like someday it might fail. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, not a hundred percent big fan of the zipper here, but once you get it started, it's fine. I've never had it come apart on me. It's just, I don't, I don't like where it starts or how it starts. It has some issues there. The jacket's very comfortable. You can wear it by itself. Uh, but like I said, if it's really cold out, I'll, I'll layer up because this will not keep you really warm. It will just keep the elements off you. And in Texas, especially in the wintertime, you get that really humid wind. So just eat right through your clothing, and it doesn't with this. And if you want to cinch it down even more to keep the elements out, this waistband cinches down. And then for the hoodie portion, you have this little flap here so you can, you can roll it up and put it away if you need to. You can see the, the hood here has this bill. That's really good for keeping the water off of you. The outer material is kind of similar to like Gore-Tex. It's a very tight weave. Uh, it's kind of like a smooth feeling. It's not too loud. But I think if you're rustling around, it's definitely not you know, stealth by it. But it doesn't have that like real shh. Like Gore-Tex is like rougher. This is kind of a kind of like how a silk rug kind of has that lay to it. So this is kind of similar. On the back, you got a little compartment here. I think on the website or somewhere I saw it, they were talking about you might know, you stick your map if you're doing hiking. You can keep paperwork in here. And most likely it's going to stay pretty dry. 
<clears throat> there's no real part for like water to kind of snag and get stuck in there. It lay, it's pretty flat. And like I said, you got these welded uh, seams and the hooded zippers. <clears throat> now the reason why I bought this stuff is at the time I was in the oil field and I was out in the field basically for two years and you're just living in campers, you're never home. So it's basically you're in this camping, hiking adventure, uh, just touring around Texas in the middle of nowhere for two years. So I just wanted to collect some good, you know, tactical equipment, good hiking gear. And I was also building a Call of Duty uh, ghost costume for cosplay. And so I wanted something that would basically do everything. If I was in a, you know, apocalypse situation, my clothing works. If I just want to go hiking and camping, it's going to work. Hunting, it's going to work. If I want to dress up for Halloween as a Call of Duty character, it's going to work. And TAD gear. I just found it online when I was searching for this stuff about six years ago to build my loadout. And I've been shopping with them ever since. Maybe once every couple years or so, I'll buy a new product. Uh, I'd like to get a new uh, stealth hoodie. I don't need one. So if something happened to this one, I would probably buy one. And I, I would say the $500 would be worth it. <clears throat> uh, especially now it's made in America. This one was made in America. In fact, here. see the label right there but this one is made in China and the Chinese are very proud because they always put it on everything it says it right there and it says it right there so if you're worried about it uh, if you're or if you're a big pro America guy uh, this company they're American company they're in the Bay Area in San Francisco that's where their storefront is uh, the jackets are now made in the US so you can buy one of those if you're really worried about it but there's a hundred fifty dollar price difference and like I said, this stuff sells great on eBay. I could almost get what I paid for it, even six years later. I know I could get at least $200 for it. So that's pretty rare to own something, a piece of clothing, really use it and almost get all your money back. Uh, clothing usually doesn't do that. Uh, this is poorly tech, by the way. So like I said, I, this isn't a paid advertisement. They didn't give me this stuff for free. I paid for it. And I'm making this video six years after the fact, which is better review than, hey, I just got out of the box. Let's unbox it and look at it. Yeah, it's great. Well, no, I can tell you it's great. I've had it for a long time. I put a lot of miles on, on this stuff. And as an engineer, as an inventor, a car builder, uh, and as a Marine, I can tell you I wouldn't endorse something if it was junk. You know, when it comes to hot rods, I would tell you a Holley carburetor. I wouldn't tell you an Elbrock. So when it comes to good equipment for camping, outdoor use, or you know, you just want good equipment that looks good. Uh, the cool thing about TAD gear is it's kind of like tactical slash kind of sexy James Bondy. Like you just want good equipment that's gonna last you and you can use it out in the field, but you can still go on in town and you don't look like a goofball and you look pretty good. And anyone that knows the brand knows like, man, that guy's got some money in his clothing. Uh, this would be a perfect brand. I honestly, not quite sure know all their competitors what their names would be and i haven't tried their stuff maybe their stuff's great uh, i can just tell you on tad gear you wouldn't be disappointed I'm, um, oh let me talk about sizing uh, sizing their stuff runs a little small with that said oh and they don't make longs i hate companies i, I don't say hate i disappoint me when companies don't make clothing in a long because i'm six five um Companies like Banana Republic and Cry Precision are great because they make their products in like regular and long. I think they may make like a short or medium, something like that. So um, I ordered this stuff in the medium. I was a little bit thinner at the time. I wish I'd ordered it as a large. It still fits me great, but when I do bend over, sometimes uh, the backs kind of will come up and expose my back. And that might be because it's not a large and it probably should be. But I don't like my clothing to be really baggy. Uh, so I was worried about that at the time. I like this stuff to be a little bit form fitting. Um, and I wear, like I said, you got a shirt and then this under this jacket and it doesn't feel tight. Now, if I were to put on maybe another 10, like if I was 200 to 210 pounds, yeah, there's probably start getting tight and I'm at about 180 pounds now. Uh, their stuff does run a little small. I ordered a Valkyrie jacket for my wife. And even though we looked at the chart, and we look, we were good on the chart. It was too tight for her, and I had to send it back. Um, and I have a black kind of civilian jacket I got from them. It looks kind of like a Dickies jacket, 
and it's a medium and it's just a, the sleeves are a little short. But again, I should have ordered a large, uh, but I just don't like really baggy bulk. That's why kudos to Banana Republic. They have the slim fit and long, so it's perfect for me. So if you're a big guy, uh, make sure you order up and make sure you learn your sizes of this company because the products sell out fast. They don't make a lot. So if you go on there and order the wrong size and you send it back, the size you need may not even be in stock. It may have already been sold out before you even got on there. So make sure you get on their newsletter so you see new products drop. Otherwise, just keep going on the website because they'll put a product out, it'll sell out real quick. You're like, what? And then it won't make it anymore. And then you gotta go on eBay and you get scalped. So, great products, I highly endorse it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, TADgear.com, uh, let them know, support them. Uh, yeah, go check out their store if you're in the Bay Area. I've never been. If I'm ever in that area, I'll definitely go. But like I said, <clears throat> the stuff's not falling apart. Uh, all the zippers still work. The stitching is all good. I, there's no holes in it, no snags. It's an awesome product. I love them to death. So check them out. Good luck out there. Uh, two thumbs up for these products all the way. So that's my endorsement. Take care.